about 1909. The water here is about 17 feet lower. Right where we are now, there are rapids and whirlpools. So back in the day, this area was the most dangerous part of the Wisconsin River to travel. So back before the days of, cheer, of cheese, beer, and Green Bay Packers, Wisconsin was really known for its lumber industry. And in fact, before the railroad was built, the only way to transport this lumber down to the rest of the country was through the Wisconsin River. So many people would come down, many lumber, many lumber raftsmen lost their lives in this dangerous part of the river as the current was much faster than it is today and they would end up sliding right into the side and crashing. However, it opened up a position for a new job known as a standing river pilot. Their job was to help out people getting across these paths and they help people break down their rafts into smaller pieces and get and like navigate them through the area. One of the best known Standing River pilots was known as Leroy Gates. In fact, he was, he was the one that was in charge of introducing his beverage of choice, pointing out the scenic sights to see along the river. Around us, there's also a lot of wildlife. Primarily deer, which many of you probably have seen driving through the roads up here recently. We also have raccoons, the occasional fox, also the occasional black bear. Has anyone here seen a black bear in the state of Wisconsin? In zoo. Yeah. Well, some of the older guys here have, have told me a trick to keep those black bears away from you. So what you need to do is go to the local hardware store. White pink bristle brush and some white acrylic paint. If you ever happen to see a black bear out here in the woods, you're going to take that brush and paint a large gold line in between you and that bear. Because the bears have a hard time getting across that gold line here in the state of Wisconsin. Do we have any bears fans on board? Well, luckily, we already pointed out where the life jackets are. You are welcome to swim your way back. Doors go, pack go. Just off to our left hand side is the end of the old riverbed. So if you take that around, it's going to take us right to where we started. It also marks the end of Blackhawk Island. And also, just off to our right, what is known as Coldwater Canyon. And we used to take our tours there as well. 